What's up guys? Welcome back out here to another video. So in today's video, we got a couple buckets of shiners. We got these guys right here. They got an aerator. There's six shiners. And they're all about like medium sized shiners. And then we got six in here without an aerator. They got about the same amount of water. I just picked them up like 30 minutes ago and I'm using a bubble box as the aerator. These are like cheap ones you can get on Amazon. They're portable, they use size D batteries. Two of them, but they can run with one battery. So I've been wondering if it's really worth it to run an aerator for shiners or not, whether you can leave them just without an aerator. I've always like thought aerators were helpful, but some of these days I just haven't used an aerator and they've stayed alive for pretty long time so I'm putting it head to head here seeing whether you guys actually need an aerator or not I'll link the aerator down below the batteries that kind of stuff if you guys do want an aerator um, I've liked this area so far and it's really cheap so you guys can check that out but maybe by the end of this video we'll realize that we don't need aerators and yeah there'll be no use for an aerator so I'll be checking in on these guys every day from now until like all of one of these buckets more or less dies. I'm gonna be checking in on like how active they look, just like if there's color variations, if ones look healthier and other ones don't look as healthy. I'm not like an expert on fish, so I'm not gonna get too detailed, but we're gonna be checking in on them every day, seeing some observations and how long each of them survive. So it's been one day, both of these guys are looking pretty good. Since I've been down here, I noticed that one of the minnows in the non-aerated bucket came to the surface to get some air. It was this darker one over here. He came up to the surface, just put his mouth up to get some air. All of these guys are just hanging out down there. It's weird that they face away from the aerator. They're all facing in one direction. And then these guys are just stacked in all sorts of different directions. It's been two days now, and we already lost one of the guys inside of the no aerator bucket he was gasping for air he kept coming to the surface grabbing air and like teetering earlier on today when i came down to check in on them he was, the, he was the one who was coming up for air last night as you can see that guy right there is coming up to get some air i've been seeing them all come up momentarily to get air the ones in the aerator they're just hanging out they're all looking good all six are still there but we, we lost one guy in this one it's been three days now and it looks like we lost another shiner out of the bucket without the aerator as you can see down here there's one that's on the bottom there we're only down to four in this bucket the one that was floating yesterday I put him in my crawfish trap today but all the shiners that are in the aerated bucket. They're swimming around, they're doing good. All six of them are still there, but it looks like we lost one more in the bucket without the aerator. It's been four days now and nothing has changed. We still got these four hanging out in the bucket without the aerator, and all six of these ones are still swimming around hanging out in the bucket with the aerator. So that's what it looks like after four days. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Welcome back guys. It's now been five days and we haven't lost any more fish. All four of these guys are still hanging out, doing well, and all six of these guys are still doing well. It's now been six days guys and it's not looking too good for the shiners in the one with the aerator. We got two there that we lost. We're down to four in each bucket. And at this point, I think they're just starving and they need their water changed. I don't think it really has much to do about there being an aerator or no aerator. The aerator does stir up um, a lot of the stuff that's in there. So that water does look dirtier than this water. All four of these guys are troopers. They hung in there for the six days. But we're going to end this video here. I don't want to make these guys suffer any longer than they have. Overall, I'd say you don't really need an aerator. These four guys for six days hung in here without an aerator. The aerator can help, as you guys saw, after five days 
all six were still alive, but you didn't lose too many without an aerator. It's ultimately up to you guys whether you want to use an aerator or not. I use them half the time, and I really wanted to do this test to see if I really needed to use them. I'll probably start using aerators even less, but if I'm keeping them for longer time, I might use an aerator. And if you have to feed them, I just looked it up before this video because two of those died, so I looked it up and they said to use beta fish food. So I threw a few pellets in here and I watched um, one of these guys eat one of the beta food pellets. So if you gotta feed them, um, you can go with beta food. Some people use bread, but it, they say that the bread can get stuck in their gills um, because it's like fluffy and it's not great for them. So I'd recommend using beta fish food, but I doubt many people are keeping shiners for that long. And if you're keeping them for a short bit of time, you don't really need an aerator. So it's up to you though. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope this helped at least a little bit. And I'll link the aerator batteries down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.